Good morning. Um, today we're going to look at some Solve Me Mobile puzzles to think about finding missing values in equations. Um, we can use the puzzles because they're set up like balance scales and a balance scale is a good model to use to think about an equation because the balance means that both sides would be equal. <clears throat> in the puzzle you're looking at, the entire value of the puzzle is 48. So if we looked across this top scale, we know that this side of the scale has to be half of 48, and then all the rest of this also has to be 48. Um, we're not giving any values to start with, but we can look at the three blue triangles and know that their value is going to be half of 48, which would be 24. And that's not very difficult math to think about 24 divided into three triangles. Each triangle would have to have a value of eight. So once those are in place, we can look at the other side of the triangle. On uh, the other side of the scale, we see all of this together would have to be 24. If that's the case, then this outer chunk would be 12, and this inner piece would be 12. Now, you could, if you're doing this on your own, you could easily decide which one you want to solve. We have 4 squares equal 12. 12 divided by 4 squares means that 1 square would be 3. In this case, we have a total of 12. We already have 8 of those 12 accounted for. So the droplet, the orange drop, would have to be 12 minus 8. That would have to be 4. We'll submit it. Go on to another one. Another one is, this is set up structure much like the last one. We have a total value of 20. So each side would be 10. And then on the left side, the 10 is balanced. So each of these pieces would have to be 5 here and here. Looking at that, we can see five triangles, total of 10, each triangle would be two. If we know a triangle is two, and this strand is five, square would be three. Over here, two and two, so we have four out of our five, so we know the, the moon, the orange moon, would have to be one. So the math is pretty simple. The issue is following the path to be able to use the clues, the information that you're given to find the missing pieces. Another one, total of 44. Whoops. So we know each side, 22. Now, if this side's 22, each of these strands would be 11. Twenty-two, it's made up of five different pieces. Five, we know, we know, um, we know that the green moon is five. That's 15, but we're not sure about those yet. If we move here, we don't have enough information. You could make some possibilities. Uh, but it's only over here where we know if the green moon is 5 and we know the total is 11. If you take out the 5, then you know the two triangles together would have to equal 6. 6 plus 5 would give us an 11. 
That means each triangle would have to be three. Now that you know that, if a triangle is three, and we need a total of 11, that means there's eight more that we need. We need to get eight out of these two hearts. Each heart would have to be four. So we solved that one without even having to move over here and, and think about the values on that. And to double check, it does work out if you look at the numbers they put in. 22, 22, 11. When you're working on your own, there is, if you go into the um, settings, which are behind this tool, this toolbar is for my recording, but behind that is settings. You can click the button that says show the numbers as you solve. So these numbers will show up on their own. That could be helpful. And we're going to do one more. This one, the total value is 60. We're giving, given the value that, that a triangle is worth one. So let's see, we have a total of 60. That'll give us 30 on this side. That'll give us 15. It's going to be half of the 30 on this side. Another 15. Let's see. So two are gone from our 30. Four diamonds, four rhombuses, have to equal. Whoops. A little hard doing this with a mouse sometimes. 28. Four rhombus is a 28, one rhombus would have to be seven. Seven times four is 28. So we know this is a seven. We know this is 15. So these together have to be eight. So each circle would have to be four. And when you put them in, you see it works out for the last row also, 7 plus 7 plus 1. So it, so it fills in, it works out. So this is a few examples. I'm going to challenge you guys to go ahead on your own. Um, I'm starting you, or I, I finished with you on level on, on Puzzle 55. See if you can do some on your own. Give yourself a challenge and uh, screenshot me your best, your best puzzle that you do. Um, let me yourself. I don't want you spending like, in, you know, if you have other work to do. Um, but but go ahead and screenshot me one of the uh, one of your best your best shots in this puzzle. All right. Good luck.